What's up Mopar fans? So we're back today with another video and this one was a uh, kind of a request. So I was going back and forth in the messages in the last video um, to a subscriber and he was asking me questions like does your ram tow good with a cam in it? Um, how did the cam shaft affect the towing or the daily drivability of the truck itself? So I figured, hey, well, we better make a video on this. So, as you guys know, I am running the .5 High Lift Green Racing Cam from Jay Green. And I also have his extra tunes for the lope tune for that cam to make it sound a little more aggressive on the idle. I also have a towing tune from Jay Green, a custom towing tune, along with all my nitrous tunes. Um, so, Jay Green is the man with tuning, and we all know this. And if you just have, you know, a basic Ram pickup truck and you tow a lot of stuff or pull a lot of trailers, um, I don't know what you've been waiting on. Get you a, a, a programmer, you know, a Diablo Sport, whatever, and get with Jay Green and tell him that you need a towing tune. You know, get you a custom tune for, you know, 93 pump gas, 87, 80, 89, and the towing tune, guys. I mean, it's by far night and day difference. It wakes the truck up tremendously, and the towing tune definitely kicks ass. Um, as you guys know, Frostbite was my daily driver for the whole time I've had this truck. It was driven five days a week, 40 miles, one direction, 40 miles back home, five days a week. I put a ton of miles on this truck in a year. Um, in one year, I have put... 42,000 miles on this truck you know I work a long way away and I drove this truck all the time anywhere I went it had to go to the racetrack you know the truck gets driven and that's for sure um, and it towed my pontoon boat guys uh, pontoon boat I'm about to show you the boat me and my buddies we named it side chick because my other hobby is fishing I'm a big striper fisherman um, been fishing a long time and you know, I haven't had a lot of time lately to go fishing, but um, but yeah, I'm going to show you Side Chick. And the reason we named it Side Chick is because our wives always gave us shit because we were always fishing. And they always thought we were probably out hanging out with our Side Chick. So, that Side Chick, badass. I used to have a bass boat, um, but as the you know kids came along and everything like that, I needed more room. So, I sold it and we bought the pontoon boat. Um, but Frostbite pulls this pontoon boat just fine and uh, you know I don't really have to use Frostbite to tow it that much anymore or rely on it to be a daily driver as much um, as some of you guys know I actually lost my dad not long ago to cancer um, actually it was about three months ago and unfortunately I actually lost my mom um, last week due to cancer also so been kind of a rough patch lately um, you know losing both parents in a matter of months uh, definitely definitely not the best of times right now around here but we're making the best of it I'm staying busy trying to keep my mind you know settled um, on videos and hobbies and stuff like that to get through it and you guys have been a big help with that um, but I actually inherited my dad's f-250 gasser uh, 5.4 liter truck it's got a ton of miles on it but um, it's kind of a blessing to have it right now because it all actually gives me more time with frostbite if I want to mod that you know mod frostbite or take it apart you know I'm not rushed too much to get it back together to have to rely on it to get me to work every day like I used to um, so having an extra truck is definitely helping not to mention having the f-250 you know helps a lot with you know towing stuff around and not worrying about str uh, scratching or dinging up frostbite you know frostbite's my baby so I try to baby that truck as much as possible, but also abuse it at the same time. So it's kind of a love-hate relationship, right? But um, but yeah, let's uh let's see side chick. Alright, so here is side chick. This is the family cruiser slash fishing boat. Um, we go fishing a lot, me and my buddies go hang out underneath the bridges at nighttime during the summertime when it's hot. But um, you know, it's just an 18-foot pontoon. It's not very heavy by no means, but you know, it does have some weight to it. You can definitely feel it, you know, behind the truck, um, but it's, you know, nothing too crazy or anything like that. You know, it's got a little bitty mercury on it. 
side chick fishing. But yeah, I mean, it gets the job done, guys. We have a blast with this boat. Um, we got it set up for fishing pretty well. I ended up putting the wireless remote control Minn Kota uh, trolling motor on it. And it moves this boat around pretty good. With the wireless remote, it's awesome because I can stand anywhere around the boat and operate the trolling motor to drive it or steer it. Um, and yeah, I mean, this is the other thing we mod all the time. We built this uh, PVC pole rack on the back of the couch. It holds a whole bunch of fishing rods straight up. Got the Hummingbird Helix 7 on it with GPS. That thing's bad to the bone. And uh, yeah, this is my other hobby, guys. We, in, we just put a bait tank in here not long ago to hold the blueback heron for when we live bait fish. Um, but yeah, guys, I also have um, another channel. So yeah, that's the other hobby that I try to do. Um, I do have a channel for Side Chick. It's actually called Side Chick Fishing um, on YouTube. I have a handful of videos on there. Um, some of them's pretty old because I honestly, I haven't been very um, active on that channel or loading videos. <laughs> to be honest, when I'm out there fishing, I'm trying to concentrate on fishing instead of making videos. But every now and then we'll take some videos or whatnot. Um, but yeah, there's definitely some good, if you like striper fishing, I do have some good footage of stripers on there running umbrella rigs. So if you guys like fishing, check out, check it out. I do have a couple videos on there. Um, but yeah, let's get back to the truck. I'm going to get in here and we're going to load up the, uh, J green towing tune and we're going to go down the street with this bad boy. So yeah, let's get this boat down the road guys. All right. So we have the J green 93 towing tune installed right now. This is with his 0.5 high lift racing cam in my truck. And if you don't have the lope tune, you know, it's a it's a very clean idle. Um, Incredible Hemi actually runs this same tune. So if you watch some of his videos and some of his exhaust clips, um, you'll see his truck is, you know, basically has kind of a stock sounding idle. Um, if you get Jay's lope tune for the cam, it, it, it makes it sound pretty aggressive, um, sounds pretty good. And I'm sure a bunch of you guys, roll my windows up so you guys can hear me a little better. So, I'm sure some of you guys are already like, you got your drag radials on, your drag pack on the truck, and you're towing a boat down the street. racing this coming up Friday and I don't feel like swapping tires back and forth again so we're just gonna go down the street tow around this boat a little bit so you guys get an idea of how it tows but I feel perfectly safe with them it's not raining out here we should be good um, but normally you know I run my 22 inch stock RT wheels for my daily tires and wheels and that's usually what's on the truck when I'm towing this boat obviously Come on, Frostbite, tow that pontoon. truck 
the Ram tows the pontoon boat way better than that F-250. And I'm not making that up, all right? The F-250, you know, it's a big, heavy truck. It's got the 5.4 liter V8 gas engine in it. Um, I wish it was the diesel, but um, the Ram tows the boat way better. The Ram has more power. It's got, you know, it's got a, a I guess, better gearing. Um, there's 410 gears in my truck. I don't, I'm not sure what's in the F-250, but um, the F-250, honestly, is a pig. Um, it barely will get out of its own way, but it can tow a lot of heavy loads. I mean, it's got the stiff springs or whatever, whatever. Um, but as far as towing this same load that I got right now, my Ram tows it a lot better than the F-250. Um, I, I don't know. It just the, the, the F-250 don't have as much power as this truck. all I can say. I don't know what I'll say about it. I'm not, you know, dissing on the Ford or anything like that, but that truck just don't have nowhere near the power as Frostbite, that's for sure. Um, the cam, I'm sure, helps out a lot, but right now we're cruising about 70 miles an hour at about 2300 RPM with it in the tow haul mode on Jay's tube. reset the gas mileage so I normally average also when I'm in my daily trim my street tires and I daily drive this truck I'm averaging guys 18 miles to the gallon on Jay's 93 octane tune and a lot of people will probably think that's crazy but I'm getting 18 miles to the gallon average on a canned ram 410 gears long tube headers no cats full exhaust 18 miles of the gallon and I'm about to reset it and see what we average with the boat behind it real quick all right so we just reset it to average or reset it to zero and it's starting to climb back up right now but I mean hell yeah guys if you have a Ram truck and you don't have a tuner yet you tow a lot of stuff tow trailers, you pull stuff, whatever. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you or convince you, but you need to get a programmer and you need to call Jay Green and tell him that you need some custom tunes for your Ram. Get the street tune for the 93 gas and definitely get his towing tune. You're not going to regret it. So right now, we're starting to just hit 14 miles to the gallon with the boat behind my truck and that's still maintaining about 70 miles an hour on this highway we're about to go up a hill right here but I mean as you can see guys I mean the transmission is not searching for gears we just hit a hill it's it hasn't lost any speed yet it hasn't wanted to downshift because it didn't need to and I mean it's still pulling I mean if I was to push the gas down some right here I can kick it down, but I didn't need to. Um, the cam is badass. I mean, <laughs> it, it just keeps you in the power band. It's got a, supposedly that 0.5 high lift cam is supposed to be a very, very torquey cam. It has a lot of torque. Um, and it does. I mean, even daily driving in the street trim without no boat behind this truck, I mean, it, it, pulls, he it pulls hills very well. It comes off the line very strong. Um, it, it's awesome. But with the boat behind it, I mean, you can definitely tell this cam has a ton of torque. No questions asked. We're about to have to pass a Chevy Volt, by the way. So if that tells you anything, or actually not a Chevy Volt, my bad. A Ford Fiesta. We're passing a green Ford Fiesta. With a pontoon boat, 
too. I don't know if you can pick that up in camera very well, guys. But it definitely, I mean, you don't even have to ride the brakes very hard. I mean, like I said, the boat's not super heavy. It does have some weight to it. But when this thing's in the towing mode in his tune, I mean, when you start slowing down, it, it drops gears by itself. And it basically is like, you know, an exhaust brake on a big rig or a diesel truck. I mean, the exhaust and the downshift transmission brakes very well. It slows it down pretty good. Um, another reason to hit up Jay and say, I need your towing tune. Um, definitely get a programmer, guys. Call Jay Green. Spend a few hundred bucks. It's well worth the custom tunes, guys. Well worth it. You're not going to regret it. I'm sure you've spent more money on other mods on your truck that doesn't give you nowhere near what Jay's going to give you in some custom tunes. Every 
everybody all the time because um, this guy is busy but I've sent a request and I've had a new tune written back to me in a matter of an hour and sometimes faster than that guys um, at the very longest I think it might have taken four to six hours one day he sent me a tune and that's still awesome I mean same day tunes or next day tunes I mean that's that's badass that's customer service and I'm not changing I mean he has gave me no reason to change or even look at another tuner um, there's just no reason he, he's he's awesome at what he does customer turnaround is superb and it's just I mean go look around go search the forums look on YouTube go to uh, green team on Facebook that's a group on Facebook called Green Team. And, I mean, just see what everybody else is saying. I'm not making this stuff up, guys. Um, you know, a lot of you guys already watched Incredible Hemi. But check out Incredible Hemi's channel if you have not um, on YouTube. He uses Jay Green. Um, he has nothing but the, good, the best stuff to say about Jay Green. And he also has, you know, one of the most badass trucks out there. Four-door ram truck that's running 12 second quarter mile times on you know an na engine no boost no supercharger no nitrous nothing he's running mid 12s on jay's tuning and i mean i don't know what else you can say about that but jay green is the man for me i'm not changing anytime soon that if you if you actually ask me who I would recommend that's who I'm gonna tell you because it's the only person I've used and I have no reasons to not recommend him so I hope that helps you helps you guys out I'm gonna try to cut this off um, it's getting a little bit longer than I wanted it to be but uh yeah so as always guys stay safe out there um, remember hit that subscribe button share the videos and we'll see you guys on the next one Oh, just